Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, come back at you with some more Batch Tutorials. Now today, we're going to be looking at some mathematical expressions and how we can use those in Batch. So let's go ahead and get the command line started up. I'll create, I'll get Notepad ready too, and we can create a new script. I'll save mine as the usual. Uh, let's see, we can go into John Hammond, uh, I think it was script.bat. Okay, cool. We can replace whatever's there. We'll use the at echo off. And now, what we're going to do is actually create a new variable here. I'm going to call mine set, and we can set the sum can equal 1 plus 1. Now, uh, you know, I'm sure you kind of have the first-hand impression that uh, sum is going to equal 2, right? <laughs> well, let, let's, let's see how this works, guys. Let's see. If we want to echo the sum is, and then we can put in sum... Now I can switch over to our command prompt. If we dir, we've got script.bat right there. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's run script. The sum is 1 plus 1. What? No. The, the sum is supposed to be 2. Okay. So, see, remember what we're doing here. Set is going to set whatever that you put after this uh, this variable's assignment operator. It, it, that turns into a string. 1 plus 1 is literally 1 plus 1 as a little bit of text. Each character is being interpreted as a real character. So what we should do is we should take a look at the set command and see if there's anything we can do to change this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use set and then pass in a tag for a question mark and see what see what they can do for us. Now what it'll do is it'll display set or remove cmd.exe environment variables. So we can set the variable equals a string, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Whatever the name of the variable is, and we can set it to a string, or all these characters that are actually going to be, uh, that we're actually going to work with. And you can use set without parameters to display environment variables and what else that actually starts with them. You've heard me talk about all this before. So let's move into something else here. Set command will not allow equal sign to be part of the name of a variable, and two new switches have been added to the set command. You can use set a for expression, and uh, set p variable equals prompt string. So what today we're we're going to be looking at today the uh, set a. Now the dash a switch specifies that the string to the right of the equal sign is a numerical expression that is evaluated. The expression evaluator is pretty simple and supports the following operations in discrete in decreasing order of precedence. Okay, so we have grouping, unary operators, arithmetic operators, logical shifts, bitwise, assignment operators, and that sort of thing. So everything that you do that's a mathematical exp uh, like sort of like an operator, yeah, exactly, a mathematical expression is an operator. If you're using the plus sign, you're adding something to it, and that's called an operator. If you're using a subtraction sign, you're, you're subtracting, and that's an operator too. So... We can just skip all this crap, because really we don't have to worry about it anymore. What we're really looking at is the mathematical expressions. So if we set sum, and then we're using the dash a tag, remember, so set dash a, sum equals 1 plus 1. The sum is, in this case, it should be replaced with 2. So let's see how we can do this. We can run the script, and now it says the sum is 2. Awesome. So we can do a lot more things with this, because remember, we have access to all these other operators. And can we have some white space in there, too? Let's see. We can. Okay. So now let's do, let's say, um, 5 plus 1. That'll give us 6. What if we did um, 10 minus 2? What do we have here? 8? All right. What if we did 5 times 5? You're using the asterisk here for multiplication sign. What if we did 10 divided by 5. We're using the uh, forward slash here for division. The sum is 2. Now there's another operator here which is pretty unique. Uh, in fact, let's see if batch, ha batch has support for it. The modulus operator is a percent sign, and what this will do is it will turn the remainder of a dividing quotient. So when we do 10 divided by 5, 5 goes into 10 two times. There's 5 and then 10. There is no remainder. This works out perfectly fine. We get a remainder of 0. So let's see if we get that here. Nope. Missing operator. The sum is 10. Okay. There is a problem here, guys. It looks like Bash does not have support for the modulus operator. But I want you guys to know that that is a thing in existence. Python uses it. C++ uses it. I'm assuming PHP uses it, but it's it's 
it's fantastic. In all honesty, it really is. If you're trying to write a factoring program, you're going to want to be able to know if if your remainder is zero, then you can tell that it really is a factor. Because if you had, like, uh, let's say if 10 quotient, actually 10 modulus 3. Now, 3 can go into 10 three times with a remainder of 1. Because we'll have 3, we'll have another one, you'll have 6, and you'll have 9, but and it'll go right up to 12. You don't get to 10. But the difference between 9 and 10 is 1. So you'll have a remainder of 1. So a batch may not support it, but it is a thing in computer science, and you really should get a hang of the idea of a modulus operator. But really, that's all there is, guys. If you use the dash A tag in conjunction with your set command, you can supply a, um, a mathematical expression. So you could potentially build yourself your own calculator. How would you like that? <laughs> But uh, that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this will this will come in handy eventually. I'm sure it will. But, you know, it's out there. It's part of batch language. And it, it's something that you guys should know how to be able to do. So uh, thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.